so good morning in our last class uh, we have discussed about fourier series fourier transform discrete time fourier series discrete time fourier transform then also basics of a discrete fourier transform and we discussed why there was a necessity uh, for having a transform like discrete fourier transform right now let's uh, today continue with the discrete fourier transform so yesterday we have uh, discussed uh, this uh, dft and uh, i dft uh, equations and we discussed that uh, we have a factor called tudel factor and this tudel factor if you see uh, in dft and i dft in both the things uh, they are uh, present as a conjugates okay now <coughs> let the sequences um be represented as a vector what sequence okay the sequence over here means the signal what we are analyzing okay so suppose when we are given a signal xn it is equal to x0 x1 x of n minus 1 okay so this is the sequence or we can say that it is a signal component and they are basically when we do the mathematical operations they are represented as the vector okay so another important thing quite often we will come across this capital n what is this capital n capital n is nothing but the length of the signal in many a cases just like over here you will find uh, this n minus 1 what does this n minus 1 <coughs> n minus 1 is nothing but the last component of the signal okay because if you see i told you our signal starts from x0 okay so when it is x of n minus 1 then that becomes the nth component right so we can see over here xn it is represented as a vector having a size of n cross 1 okay similarly when we talk about xk what is capital xk what is capital x k don't disturb class if you are late okay just come in and sit down uh -huh. uh, it is the transform signal x k equals to capital x 0 after you do the transformations and all this thing right again what should be the size of this x k the size of the x k should also be the same as that of the xn okay capital n multiplied by 1 now we talked about tudel factor when we talked about tudel factor we discussed about uh, uh, two components x of n and we say that both x k and uh, sorry k and n and we discussed that both k and n they vary from 0 to n minus 1 okay so these values of k and n they are very important while we try to calculate the tudel factor matrix wn which is used for the calculation of not only the discrete fourier transform but a conjugate of this uh, matrix also helps us in getting the inverse discrete fourier transform of a signal okay so we have this wn now how these numbers superscript numbers they come so they come from the multiplication of k and n 
values okay so let us take draw a line like this so say the row columns they are n values 0 1 2 3 up to n minus 1 okay. similarly k values they would be in the column wise manner 0 1 2 3 n minus 1 so what we have to do 0 multiplied by 0 this cell would be 0 0 multiplied by 1 0 so since our k value in the first row it is 0 so our first row would always be w to the power 0 ok and n means so what uh, length of uh, a total factor you want to calculate similarly if you see the column of this total uh, first column of this uh, total factor it is again having 0 so w to the power 0 means we have discussed that the equation is wn is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi and in the numerator uh, itself we have the value of kn so this kn value it changes so e to the power 0 it comes out to be 1 okay so we will put it in this fashion then at this location we are having 1 multiplied by 1 right so w1 n so kn multiplication of k and n it is 1 so we go back we will put this kn equals to 1 and we get e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by n now this n for a 2 point dft it would be 2 for a 4 point dft it would be 4 for an 8 point dft it would be 8 and so on ok so you can easily find out what is the value because 2 pi y say uh, we call it as uh, say, say for example um, n and uh, n equals to 2 so it is about minus j if n is equal to 2 we have j pi ok so this value you can easily find out ok then say if it is 4 then what will happen pi by 2 minus j pi by 2 ok again you, you will be able to uh, calculate it right so what is the value over here of kn kn is equal to 1 ok in this case so similarly we can change the values this is 2 2 multiplied by 1 this comes out to be 2 similarly 3 multiplied by 1 comes out to be 3 and so on and this last uh, number it would be w of n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 1 ok any doubt anyone no good so what we have so if we want to get the transformed signal capital X of k and this n it is the length of the stuff it is equal to w multiplied by xn w multiplied by xn what is that w w is the total factor matrix okay so the calculation of the total factor matrix it is an important stuff when you want to find out either the dft or the idft okay so x of n over here it is equal to that means it is the inverse discrete Fourier transform it is given by x of n is equal to 1 by n w conjugate ok w conjugate multiplied by capital X ok so what is w conjugate conjugate is nothing but you calculate this um, wn matrix 
and you find out the conjugate of this one and i hope everyone knows how to find out the conjugate it is nothing but whatever will be the sign of the j component the complex uh, value you have to put the reverse of that one okay suppose if it is a negative j something say negative jx then you would be changing it to jx or vice versa right so if you do that you will be able to um, get the value okay of uh, w conjugate right but the main problem arises many of us we are not very conversant with the trigonometric functions and all these things okay so even if you ask me sir you calculate this value i will not be able to calculate in a hurry okay so what is the way out to calculate this uh, total factor okay so there is a simple way that will save your time okay instead of calculating all the values say, uh, suppose i tell you you find out 8 by 8 the uh, total factor matrix uh, you cannot ca start calculating all the values okay there should be something Uh, which can help you in directly calculating the things so for that you need to understand how we are getting these values okay so we have discussed that this wn it is equal to 8 to the power minus j 2 pi n so we have an amplitude of 1 and phase of minus 2 pi n what is its significance what is its significance can anyone tell me no e to the power j say j x theta say for example so we say that x is this thing and this one is phase is theta so what is this x ha to jo se breakfast nahi kiya kya ha kiya nahi kiya acha be confident jo bhi hai you are students you are also supposed to make some mistakes i don't mind but it should be a participatory class okay so this is the amplitude amplitude of what or kuch information from here can anyone tell me e to the power j theta we can write it as cos theta plus j sin theta okay say i call it as x modulus of x kya aayega 1 aayega so what is this what is the significance of this one this is a significance that in a complex plane that in a complex plane <coughs> we have a circle whose radius is 1 so basically we are talking about a circle on a complex plane so what is the x axis x axis is a real number and what is the y axis y axis is an imaginary number real number to koi bhi number hai imaginary means you are having an axis of j then you are having Minus two pi n. Okay. When we are talking about the minus two pi n, why minus two pi n? मतलब this is an axis, which and we are having four quadrants. And how do we move in the quadrants? We consider that at this position there is a zero degree angle, and we move in the anti clockwise direction this is the usual way but here we are having a minus matlab 
we should not go in that way we should go in the other way round so we should go in the other way round okay so that is the thing so kaha pe move kar rahe hain we should move on the unit circle nowhere else hamara path it has been already been defined since the path is defined we will be moving in the clockwise direction from the zero to pi and again as uh, yeah to pi and then again pi to zero now when we talk that n is equal to 2 that means the signal length is 2 hame sirf do hi point chahiye our starting point it will always be the same kahan pe at 0 degree angle okay 0 degree angle mein what should be the value what is the value 1 okay isko divide karenge 2 se hame ek point mil gaya first point we have got first point is 1 what is the second point minus pi bolo pi bolo whatever okay at pi or minus pi so we get over there what is the value over there minus 1 so this is 0 0th point this is first point so its value is 1 its value is minus 1 this is the most simplistic way how you can calculate okay aapko baith ke calculate nahi karna padega what point is which point now say i tell you n is equal to 4 four points chahiye 360 by 4 90 degree blindly yahan pe you put some 90 degrees kar ye right kya ho gaya 0 minus j minus 1 j okay we will see how we discover these points again so zeroth point first zero means zeroth point means k n equals to 0 k n equals to 1 k n equals to 2 k n equals to 3 then again it repeats it is an endless path okay circle when you are moving in a circle you are continuously moving okay so after 3 again 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on it would mean okay so if i now tell you find out w 16 for this way you will be going on and then you will be calculating what is the value of the w 16 for okay so the main point over here is that here in we are saying that we are lying on a unit circle unit circle why because the radius of this circle is 1 in the complex plane in the angle range of 0 to 2 pi and it gets repeated for every circle okay and it gets repeated for every circle why it gets repeated for every cycle i told you that it is a circle and it is moving around and round but why the reason is when we sampled our time domain signal the frequency domain signal components it was getting repeated itself so wo infinity tak it would be repeating okay so due to that reason for after every 2 pi your signal components they are again repeating over here okay so here also you have to repeat it now again let's say let us find out the total factor matrix for w2 okay again we are having same n value 0 1 k value 0 1 so w2 0 <coughs> w2 0 w2 0 W one. Okay. So, what is the value? Zero zero. Yes, zero. हो गया. So these are these values. 
ए टी टू पावर जीरो सो डब्ल्यू वन यहाँ पे हमारा लाई कर रहा है राइट सो इट वुड बी माइनस वन सिंपल एनी डाउट एनी वन इससे इजी कोई समझाएगा नहीं नो वे यू विल फाइंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट टोटल फैक्टर मैटर्स इन दिस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज लेट मी नो ओके नेक्स्ट आई टोल्ड यू वट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस नेगेटिव वी गो in the clockwise direction not in the anti clockwise direction now when we talk about um, four point dft see w000 000 then if you see 1 2 3 0 1 2 so you see one multiplied by by one two multiplied by one two three multiplied by one three similarly 200 2, 4, 6. Similarly, 0, 3, 6, 9. Clear? But we will be moving in. We have to divide the unit circle into four parts. Okay? Just now I told you. So here, for four parts, we have uh, segmented it, and after the segmentation. We are starting with the nk value: zero, one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why nine? I am stopping over here. I could have gone further also, but for the calculation of four point BFT, if you see, I need a total factor value which is having an nk value of nine. Okay, so I will stop over there. So I am just putting the values. So first row and first column, it would be one, right? Then if you see W one, where it is minus zero. W two is minus one. W three, it is zero. Then again, uh, coming to W two minus one, W four, its ka ulta taraf hai one. Again, W six. उल्टा तरफ माइनस वन सिमिलरली जे माइनस वन माइनस जे सो दिस इज द टोटल फैक्टर मैट्रिक्स फोर पॉइंट टोटल फैक्टर मैट्रिक्स ओके Now coming to the six point matrix. इतना बड़ा matrix है, right? <laughs> so those who are starting DSP for the first time, especially those uh, who are from the back, uh, biotech background, nothing to worry. देखने में it likes a jumbo, but it is very simple. I told you, you just calculate this thing: zero, one, two, three, four, five. Again, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Write down this matrix. Now the funda is that we have to divide this circle into six parts. Okay, so sixty degree each. Sixty degree each means we should get the point, and we will be getting six segments. So first segment, here we minus sixty. Again. आपका माइनस वन ट्वेंटी फिर आपने वन ट्वेंटी में आ गए ये हंड्रेड एटी यू गेट टू दिस पॉइंट एट फाइव ओवर हियर यू गेट टू द पॉइंट ऑफ हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी अगेन सिक्सटी एंड देन अगेन यू कम टू दिन ओके सो वट इज द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव माइनस ऑफ रियल एक्सिस माइनस ऑफ जी ओ जीरो पॉइंट एट सिक्स सिक्स 
you just have to remember only one coordinate 0 0.5 and 0 0.866 this point it is a conjugate of this one okay this point it is a conjugate of this point this point it is a conjugate of this point <clears throat> and you know the values of these things okay so then you calculate one point all other points will be automatically calculated i i hope all of you even those who are from the biotech background they know how to calculate this right radius diya hua hai angle diya hua hai simple class 11 12 trigonometric function laga you will get this coordinates that's it isse zyada nahi hai kuch okay so once you get this point we need 25 values okay because we have the last uh, this 5 5 point as the w25 okay so mark it 0 1 2 3 4 likewise and you see we have come up to 25 okay so just take this value put in over here that's it so your 6 point total factor matrix is will be done okay <clears throat> now coming to the next point so where we have 2.4.6.8 point dft how we can do this okay here in uh, not only dft but also the idft so initially we will take a signal say for example the signal is x of n is equal to 2 but the minimum dft what we can do is a two point dft so how do we convert the signal because the length of the signal over here is 1 length is 1 okay the amplitude value at the uh, n equals to 0 it is 2 but the length is 1 so how do you increase the length iske baad kya hai there is nothing it should be 0 so we can write this as 2 comma 0 right so we make it suitable for 2 point dft operation so xn equals to 2 0 so this is the total factor matrix w uh, w2 matrix then we perform the operation we get 2 by 2 why we got 2 by 2 because the first one is 2 cross 2 matrix so how do we represent the matrix r cross c rows columns so rows are 2 columns are 1 in the second matrix we are having 2 rows 1 column so we will take the row of the first matrix and the column of the second matrix and whatever this uh, thing from here we get 2 cross 1 matrix so here in we get 2 cross 1 matrix and it is represented as capital K equals to 2 okay so this is your transformed signal now if you have to perform the IDFT so we should get back to this original signal that's what it is done over here IDFT means we want, uh, we want to go back to the time domain signal xn is equal to 1 by 2 conjugate of the total factor matrix however there is no complex terms so whatever was the w2 value here also the w2 conjugate it would be the same then multiplied by xk the transformed signal okay then you perform the operations again see ultimately we get this value wherein we get xn equals to 2 comma 0 okay so that means whatever the total factor matrix we have calculated it is working totally fine okay now let us 
say we want to perform the same thing using four point DFT. Okay, so initially we padded the signal with zero, and then we were having couple of we have to pad up couple of more zeros to make the signal suitable for four point DFT operation. Okay, so four point DFT matrix it is over here. So we get this uh, this signal over here and we get this value. Similarly, if I want to do the inverse uh, transform, then we get one by n that is one by four conjugate. If you see this complex values, they have si uh, changed their sign. Okay, once the signs are being changed <coughs> over here, over here, you see the signs are changed. Okay, then you multiply with the the transform value, and you get the original signal output. Okay. Now, if you see, the question arises over here. Our original signal was two. Okay, but in two point DFT, we got a transform signal which is having only no having only two values sorry not this one this one having only two values over here also our transform signal it is having a, uh, while we did the four point dft we got four values if you go for the eight point dft we will get eight values so why they are changing is it really changing this is one of the important question for that thing what you have to do is that you need to consider that there is a window over here and you are standing on one side of the window and say there is an object on the other side window of the window so window is totally present okay window is completely present and we are talking about the frequency component we are having window from 0 to fm i am not taking 2 of fm because fm is the so 0 to fm because the frequency we know the frequency of the signal it will vary from 0 to fm right now that frequency domain is fixed now say for example this window you have a fixed grid okay fixed dimension and this is your frequency spectrum what you want to see outside so uh, say for example whatever is outside that is your frequency spectrum and this is the window through which you want to look at the frequency spectrum now it is totally blocked when we are doing two point dft what we are doing we are basically creating two transparent strips over that block window so we are cutting out this regions so we are removing the blockade so what is happening you will be able to see this object but you will not be able to see the complete object okay you will not be able to see the complete object again if you increase the number of the strips again over here what will happen compared to the previous thing you will again be able to see some section of the object but now the view will be better than the uh, condition where you have only opened two strips okay again if you go and increase it to say 8 
again the view will be improved okay so you are getting a more and more uh, a signal which is already present but you are able to see a higher resolution image okay the same thing is happening over here also the frequency components they are already present within the signal but due to our limitation we are not able to get a good resolution frequency domain component but there is a catch over here also when you increase uh, when you go for uh, from 2 to 4 point dft or from 4 to 8 point dft or from 8 to 16 point dft if you see the total factor matrix what is happening it was only a 4.4 matrix it was a uh, sorry 2 by 2 matrix the second one it was a 4.4 matrix when we talk about uh, 6 point dft it is a 6.6 uh, 6 by 6 matrix then again when we go for the uh, 8 point dft it would be 8 by 8 matrix when you go for the 16 point dft it would be 16 by 16 matrix okay so you see the complexity of your calculations it is increasing multiple okay so you need a more and more uh, advanced uh, type of ya uh, or a more uh, or a uh, processor which is capable of handling what type of processing you want to do okay so you have to come to a trade off where you can match the performance of your hardware uh, of your uh, this uh, processor and your requirement okay somewhere you have to trade off okay so this is the thing now this is a very interesting uh, thing i have already performed 2 by 2 dft for you guys so what is happening over here 2 point dft i got 40 4 point i got this values 6 point i got this values 8 point i got this values so can you tell me anything out of this slide kya hai is slide mein i have put it there must be something what observations you can make what observations you can make no four sending one means no wo to maine bol diya naya kya hai so if you see the value is in the 2 point dft you are having the values 4 and 0 when you went for the 4 point dft this 4 is coming over here this 0 is coming over here and in between you are interlaced with two more values okay when you come to the 6 point dft This four and zero are there. However, these values they vanished. Why this is happening? Why this is happening? <laughs> the thing is that what happens is that <clears throat> again, if you consider the window, so what will happen? Okay, I will come to that a bit later. So again, if you see in the eight point DFT, you are having this zero over here. You are having this zero over here. Now these values are missing from here, but this two minus two j, you will find over here. Two plus two j, you will find over here. 
okay so basically what we do when we talk about uh, digital signals we go in the pattern of 2 to the power n so n changes from 0 1 2 3 like that so zero would not be there so we we'll start with 2 to the power 1 2 3 uh, 2 n so when n is equal to 1 we have two values when n is equal to 2 we have four values when n is equal to 3 we have eight values and so on now when you are doing this these points this 4 0 they are being always taken into account in between when we say that we want to perform the 6.0 dft we are uh, getting it however when you are talking about the repetition of these components because we are all getting this value from the unit circle right so so whatever is the value those um, from there these values they are not getting repeated so say for example you have this window you have cut out a strip this uh, this is 4 this is 0 say for example okay say this is 4 this is 0 when you are doing going for say this four point this one you are creating two new points over here okay so when you are putting these two new points, you are also taking this previous say 1, 2, then we are having 3, 4. Previous one, uh, first step, second step, you are taking into consideration. In addition, you are putting up these values, 3 and 4 windows. Okay. But when you are going for the 6 point DFT, this 1 and 2 windows, They are being considered, but uh, they are coming into play. However, it might so happen. See, <coughs> okay. one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll leave it. Uh -huh. Again, I have to drop. Sorry. <laughs> this was one, two. You have having. Okay. Now we are having one, two. This is for the six point. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you see. <coughs> We are looking into the same image, but we are not using this 3 and 4 strips. Okay, we are creating a new 3, 4, 5, 6 strips. However, the 1 and 2 strips, they are still being used. Okay, are you getting my point? Those points are there, but we have blocked those points. We are not using those points. This okay. So this is the uh, reason what is happening. So when you go from uh, say 2.2 8 point, you are able to see the whole spectrum. But depending upon what type of DFT you are choosing, you may get the uh, what you call results from the previous uh, uh, lower point DFTs 
repeated into the higher point dft uh, depending upon what point dft you are choosing okay so if you are choosing the dft components in the ratio of say or in the fractions of 2 to the power n so where we have 2 4 8 16 and so on all the two point dft components it will be represented in four point all the four point components it will be represented in eight point all the eight point components they will be represented in the 16 point dft okay however in between if you use six point dft uh, 10 point dft 12 point dft <coughs> they may or may not get repeated okay? all the values <coughs> now uh, we are having some time so i would ask you 10 minutes are there so okay i will just uh, go through uh, you will not be able to perform all the things so you are having this uh, xn equals to 1 j minus 1 minus j so n is equal to clearly 4 over here find out the dft we have this dft over here then we have this signal perform the matrix operation you get the signal over here so xk is equal to 0 4 0 0 similarly if you are having say 1 1 1 and you are asked perform 4 point dft what you have to do you have to pad the signal with 0 see we have pad, padded the signal with the 0 then perform the matrix operation we get this value and this is the xk equals to 3 minus j 1 j similarly if i am uh, giving you that uh, cos pi n is there uh, xn is equal to cos of pi n and you perform the four point dft so you need to calculate this xn so you calculate it then perform this matrix operation obviously lastly it is given xk equals to 1010 0, 1, 0. perform four point idft 1 by n uh, this uh, triple factor conjugate capital xk so n equals to 4 1 by 4 this is your conjugate uh, triple factor matrix then your signal component and you perform and you get this yeah. so in the next class we will start with the fast Fourier transform